up Gemini and thank you guys so much for tuning in so guys um, I really just want to say thank you to you um, and sorry at the same time because I know that I'm really late on this mid month and I just got really really swamped after the monthly readings that I put out for March the first set of them so guys like you know I've been doing my best to finally get back up to speed I know that I used to put out so many videos but that's before the channel was growing and you know as I've been getting more consistent especially with these last readings it really just blew up and you guys you know and everyone every sign was just viewing all the videos so much and I'm just so grateful for the pour of love and support that came out from this but then on the you know the other part of this which I'm super grateful for before I even mention anything else but so many people guys reached out to me um, to purchase questions to purchase readings all of this stuff so literally overnight I got hundreds of emails so usually I wake up and I have like 50 to like 100 to sort through I had like 900 to like a thousand all at once so right now it's down to like four or five hundred so I know people are super upset that I'm not answering them quick enough but it's just me guys um, you know I'm on my own so if there's anything that you're waiting on if you're waiting on a question I'll get to it as soon as possible um, if you guys are waiting on 30 minute reading if I'm late at all with the 30 minute readings then just know that i do give out a lot of freebies so just be patient with me and i will definitely you know hook you guys up and make sure everyone's taken care of but i'm just doing my best to not get to a place where i get overwhelmed and then just stop working because i've done that before where i just get so overwhelmed with uh you know by the demand that i just like it's like i don't know where to start but um yeah i'm not gonna take that approach i've literally just been sitting calmly every day Lisette, you can only do one person at a time that's the best you can do and hopefully um you know you attract people to you that are very loving and understanding of that and know that you know this definitely is something that i put my heart and soul into so just be patient guys i promise i'll get to everybody so all right now that that junk is out of the way um let's see what's going on with you guys you know again i wasn't sure if i was gonna do the rest of the mid months just because i'm so late on it but i just wanted to make sure that every sign got it and we'll just look at it from this point you guys will get your april reading soon so we'll see what's up now this is going to be for sun moon rising and venus signs okay guys whatever pops up pops up it could be your energy it could be the energy of a person place or situation around you okay so let's see what's going on with y'all and also remember guys um my instagram is high vibrations 44 so i do post the daily energy there every day all right, so you can see what your day is going to look like. And then I also post the order of the readings that I'm going to put out. So I know a lot of people are, you know, always ask, when is Leo coming out or when is Gemini coming out? So, yeah, you guys can find all that information there. And when a video is posted, Instagram is always the first to know. All right. Unless you have your notifications on. So let's see, guys. Let's talk about your situations here. And I think you guys will be my last reading for the day. Let's see how I feel after this. Okay. So the energy that you guys have here is a 10 of pentacles in the verse. So off bat, there could be something where maybe you're spending a lot of money. Uh, maybe you have to lose money for some reason. This could be a huge investment that you're making. Um, if this is something emotional, then it's the feeling that you kind of, uh, it's like the loss of abundance, emotionally speaking. But you have the three of wands and you have the four of wands and the ace of wands right behind that all right so for some of you it could be a financial investment that's really a great idea for others of you it could be this heavy loss that you felt but because of you turning your back on something stability passionate new beginnings come in and there's just this great sense of happiness so either way i see it as a good thing okay now in your past the first card that you guys have here is the nine of swords so this is anxiety this is worry this is losing sleep at night this is just really overthinking and just keep in mind when you have that card there a lot of it is you know it's like we give ourselves anxiety because we're creating all these scenarios in our minds that may not necessarily be there or or be happening to the extent that we might think it is okay we have the queen of cups here all right so this could be a pisces cancer or scorpio that's involved in this um you know anyone could take on the energy of any of these cards but the queen of cups is someone who's very loving who's very tender who's very in tune with her uh you know his or her emotions okay and we have the five of wands in the reverse. 
So there could be a sense of anxiety and worry that you have. For some of you, it could have been a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio friend that really helped you to not add more to this than what was needed, okay? Um, for others of you, maybe there's just a sense of emotional tranquility that you want. So although you're concerned about something, you're not going to involve yourself in a way that it can bring you any burden, okay? Now, the next card that you guys have for your past is Three of Cups. So this is a card about socializing, celebrating, um, you know, just being really happy about things that come in for you. We have the Devil card. Okay. And we have the Strength card in the reverse. So for a lot of you, this could actually be doing the most. Okay, in a social way. So maybe you're drinking too much. Maybe you're going out too much. Um, maybe you're involving yourself in toxic habits that could, at the end of the day, debilitate you. That can fuck with your health. Okay, so this is always a very good card, guys. You know, this is, you know, meeting up with friends, having that Friday dinner with friends, having that Sunday dinner with, you know, family. And it's it's usually good vibes, but we want to make sure that we're not doing anything to the extent where it's causing us to kind of derail ourselves. Okay, because, you know, when you get the devil card, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Okay, the devil card is more so... Habits that when we do it in moderation, it's okay, but if we do it often and it becomes something that we're kind of dependent on, like self-medication, things like that, then that's when it could be a problem. So, you know, just make sure that you're not doing things so heavily where it's like you're looking for an escape that actually puts you deeper into a problem, okay? So you just want to make sure that you're going about things in moderation. If you want to smoke your blunt, smoke your blunt. All right, but don't smoke 10 throughout the day. You want to take three, four shots of tequila? Go for it. But you don't want to finish the bottle by yourself, okay? So it's, it's that sort of thing, guys, okay? Now, the last card that you have for your past is the seven of, wand, uh, seven of Wands, Seven of Cups in the reverse. So this is when we have clarity, when we see something for what it is. You know, if there's any illusion or if there's any smoke screen, you know, in front of us, it's, it's no longer there, okay? Why is the Seven of Cups in the reverse? So let me make sure my music's on because it helps me stay focused. Here we go. Oh, and it's my favorite song. Okay, guys. Sorry. But Electric is like my favorite song ever. But, um, all right. So you're seeing a situation for what it is. We have the Two of Pentacles in the reverse. And we have the Page of Cups. So this is a good thing, guys. I know that some people absolutely go nuts when they see reversals because they're like, why do you do reversals? I'm like, they're not always all bad. Relax. It's fucking crazy. But anyways, these are two rever things that you're going to want in reverse, okay? With the Two of Pentacles in the reverse, this is you finding balance in the situation. With the Seven of Cups in the reverse, it's you seeing it clearly for what it is. I don't see how truth and balance could ever be a bad thing okay so that's a sense of talking about that you guys do have this energy of water that does keep following you so again you guys could have that water sign guardian angel around you or you know just a sense of you speaking about how something is going to make you like emotionally okay okay so there's you know certain secrets that may have been revealed or truths that may have came out but it's like you're finding a way to amicably part ways with it and to really just stay within your power and stand your ground through any sort of bullshit that you're going to feel okay with that king of swords coming out now in your present moment guys the first card that you have here is the nine of cups okay with the nine of cups this is happiness this is fulfillment this is just really feeling good about something You have, oop, it was the Queen of Wands. And you have the Four of Pentacles. So for some of you, maybe this is something entrepreneurial that you're happy about, especially if you're in a place where you might feel like you're tight with money. So maybe there's something that you're, you know, that you're creating or that you're working with someone to create. 
Okay, for others of you, this could be maybe a person, a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. That's very significant in your life. And it's like, you're happy about, you know, where things are going, but there's still the sense of reservation. And maybe it's just, um, you know, self-preservation, just wanting to protect yourself and making sure that you're not getting yourself into anything that would be detrimental to you. Okay. Now, the next card that you guys have here, which is also the center of the spread that I did, because I do uh, nine cards, past, present, and future. So we have the three of pentacles in the reverse. So with this being something that you're dealing with in your present, it's like you're not seeing eye to eye with someone, or maybe there's something where you're, you just don't feel appreciated. The money that you may have thought was coming in for something is just not coming in. Let's see why it's here. You have the Three of Swords in the reverse. And you have the Six of Cups in the reverse. So guys, with this being kind of like the center of everything, I feel like a lot of you, although you're in a place where you're amicably, bar amicably parting ways with it, there's a sense of suppression in regards to something that you're not 100% over. So I feel like, you know, despite the happiness of where you're going towards, you know, it's like you consciously know in your mind that there's something that may have been difficult for you to get past, but that you have to get past it. And I really like the Six of Cups in the reverse because this isn't, you know, leaving something behind in like a very drastic, like, I'm going to be up in your face and I'm going to make your life hell sort of things. This is like, you know what? It is what it is. And I'm going to let it go. And I'm going to be grown up dope about it. And I'm not going to, you know, press the issue. So it's just a very grown up and mature way to kind of get past something. So that's a really good thing. Okay. So the next card that you guys have for your present moment, King of Cups, okay? So with your King of Cups here, again, water energy is very strong for you guys. So even if it's not like a water energy person that you have around, maybe that's the sort of energy you want to seek out right now because with where you are, they might be able to just speak to you in the way that you need to be spoken right now, okay? With the current energy, we have the Emperor, the Judgment card in the reverse, and the Hierophant in the reverse. So somebody here, you know, whether it's something that you're being told or something that you just know you need to do, there's a sense of taking power back and there's a sense of seeing what's not meant to be in your life um, and realizing what bad judgment could be made in regards to what's not meant to be in your life. So just a sense of, again, dealing with things in a very mature and smart way and not, you know, doing something that you might regret the next day, that sort of thing. So why is this King of Cups here? We have the Nine of Pentacles. And we have the Seven of Swords in the reverse. So for some of you, maybe this is going to be in regards to Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Although I do see it as more of a positive um, impact that they could have on you. Or that this energy could have on you but there's going to be some sort of secret that's revealed where you're realizing that something is just not a good idea and that you really need to be self-sufficient okay where you really need to um, find your own strength of this and be realistic about the path that you should be on you know especially um, you know when you are realizing all these new facts about something okay I'm gonna pull one more card here Usually I'm satisfied with two, but sometimes I feel like I need one more. This is one of those times, so let's do it. That judgment card in reverse again, okay? So there's just going to be some sort of, some sense of information that's revealed, whether it's your information or someone else's, where, to be honest with you guys, with the uh, Queen of Swords in the reverse, it's something that might make you feel petty, or it might bother you in a sense where you might react in a way where you could make the problem worse, where you add fuel to a fire that's already burning, okay? So there's something that could totally throw you off, but you have to realize that the worst that you could have went through here, you know, is past you with that 10 of wands in the reverse here. And then with the nine of wands in the reverse, that by giving up on whatever makes you feel this way, you're on a path where you allow things that come in that take you out of that feeling, okay of being petty or of feeling these heightened emotions or of feeling unstable within yourself so it's like you see something um yeah it could affect you where you 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 know just don't look at it in the best regard but something comes in literally right after that you're like okay this is not too bad 
okay and you're able to deal with it so just don't let your emotions get the most of you because with that queen of swords in the reverse you know and I say this all the time, but it's, it's just the best way for me to like express the, you know, this card. It's like someone who's had a shitty day, right? And, you know, they dealt with shit from their boss, their kids, their spouses, whatever, whatever. And it's like they're on the way home and they're just pissed off about everything. And they hit something on the highway and they're like, fuck. And they feel a tire go flat. So they pull over and they see that the tire is completely flat and just out of anger. And that's like the volcano moment of the day. Like that's what fully sets you off. You get pissed off. You take a knife out and you slash the other three tires out of anger. So it's like, okay, I understand that you felt like you had to express the anger. I, I understand that you feel that you have to do something just to get that energy out. But now you got four flat tires. So you really just want to be mindful of how you exude your annoyance or your grievance towards something so just find a healthy way to go about it um and for me personally guys like when i'm super pissed off about something i'll go to the gym okay i'll go to the gym or i talk to people that i know can get me in a good place because just with the work i do in life and just with who i am in life i can't afford to be pissed off for a long time like i, I literally like it, it affects my money if i am pissed off so i need to be in good vibrations so you guys have to find healthy outlets for it so you know, again, that's the biggest thing. Just get your body moving. I'm not saying you have to join a marathon, but when your body feels stagnant, when you feel anxious, when you feel depressed, it's because you're not moving. Get up and move. Go for a walk. Go for a run. Go work out. Just get that blood flowing, guys, okay? Now, moving forward into the future, the first card that you guys have is the sun card. So this could be something that's kind of like revealed to you and comes into light for you, or it could be, you know, kind of just blessings that come in um, or, yeah, just blessings that come in. So let's see what direction this is going to take you in Wheel of Fortune. Okay. So things taking a very positive turn here. And the Magician. Okay. So again, guys, just make sure that you're not dealing with something um, in a drastic or dramatic sort of way because you literally come out so strong. Okay. With the King of Swords. And I don't even like, when I look at... Uh, you know, Queen, King, Page, Knight, all of that, I don't really see a male or female, anything like that. I just see the degree of power that a person has. So whether it's a male or a female, if you're coming out as that king of swords, that's like that ultimate energy. So it's like you, you go through something where maybe you're upset about things that you realize, but again, don't overreact. You have fucking amazing shit coming in where you're the magician. You have everything that you need within yourself to get something off the ground. The magician is, is like the alchemist, where it's a matter of knowing that you yourself can manipulate energy and you don't need any outside sources to get what it is that you want or what you need or what you deserve in life, okay? So you guys are onto something amazing, all right? So just don't let that situation um, just be, you know, the most prominent thing on your mind because whatever it is that you focus on is what is going to manifest. So work on this, okay? You guys have balance, okay the six of pentacles so that's that equal give and take that's you being supportive of your friends when they're down and they're in need and they come in through for you you know when you're diff in a difficult place um you know that's your job appreciating you that's you know you just feeling balanced like i said there's there's really no other way to put it why is the six of pentacles here this is really good, Gemini. I really like this. Now, you have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. So it could be something from your past that comes into your life. Or maybe you reach out to someone from your past. Okay? But you find balance in this. And then we have the King of Wands. So this could be a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Or it could just be something that you're just strongly passionate about. Um, for a lot of you maybe you're starting it's like you're, you're going into a new chapter with something that you may have dabbled in for a lot of you i don't feel like this is going to be like a lover sort of thing i feel like this is going to be maybe an opportunity that you've tried to get off ground in the past or just something that you may have been involved with in the past where now it's like you kind of revisit that and it's like you know what i could actually take this to another level i can actually do this in a big way so for a lot of you maybe you're starting businesses okay but there's a lot of passion here yeah, I see you guys definitely taking time to work on something and new beginnings coming in for you. But again, with this Ace of Swords, 
You got to make sure that you're cutting out any sort of bullshit from the past or any sort of bullshit behavior from the past, okay? So the last card that you guys have for your future is the Ten of Swords in the reverse. So this is really just being in a place where you're realizing whether you felt betrayed or something ended harshly or suddenly that the worst that could have happened there has already happened you've already endured it okay you have the ace of wands passionate new beginning here so this passionate beginning is really what helps you to get over this past situation and you have the hanged man guys this is so awesome because honestly gemini what truly makes you guys excel so much is when you get to the point where you realize who you are and what's realistically feasible for you in life and you don't fight that okay the hanged man does not bend over backwards for anyone the hanged man is not going to be someone that you know overexerts themselves in a detrimental way this is someone who's going to say look i'm just going to do me and i'm just going to you know realize what it is that i want to do and i'm going to act accordingly and then I will track it. And it's just so funny that like I'm seeing this because the other day, um, there's something I've really been practicing and working on. And I'm just like, I wonder if there's, you know, people in my area who do this. And I'm like, I don't, I, I wouldn't even know how I can connect myself with these people. So like, I'm just looking everything up on the internet and I'm spending hours and I'm just like, I'm not finding anything that, I'm not finding anyone I'd even want to reach out to, you know? So at that point, I just looked at my friends and I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to do it myself and I'm going to put that shit out there and I will be what attracts that. So that is exactly what you guys are doing. You're not looking, you're not searching, you're not fighting, you're not chasing. You are being. And because you are being, that's why things start for you. Okay, so if anything has felt forced, if you feel like you've been putting energy into things that haven't been giving you energy back, realize that and stop putting energy into it. It's that simple. And the moment you stop chasing things and going after things that aren't for you, this is what it is. All right, so you guys deserve that. You really do deserve that. So let yourself get that. All right, if you avoid conflict at all costs, you guys have happiness. Okay, the Ten of Cups, you have ultimate happiness. So, Gemini, this is easy, guys. Just just be yourself and, you know, put effort into things that are natural for you and people who appreciate you and, you know, jobs that appreciate you. And if you're just true to yourself and, you know, you don't put yourself in a position where you're fighting for things that, you know, aren't meant to be there, then you get everything that you want. You get everything that you need. Not necessarily what you want. Maybe something that you just need. And it's like, okay, this was so much better than what I was stressing myself out about. Okay. All right, guys. So let's get three cards of advice here. And then I'm going to pull an oracle card for you. And yeah, I do think that you guys are going to be my last reading for today. My soul always feels when it's like, what's that? You're done. Um, it was so funny because I had an event in New York um, around New Year's. And I read, I think for like, I think it was like 10 or 15 people. And it was back to back to back. And I've found as a reader that when I read for someone in person, it drains me 20 times more than if I like just record it and send it to you. So I had never read that many people in a day. And the last client of mine ended up being a long time client. Um, she, she's a long time client. So I really consider her a friend. She's like my only client that has my personal number. And you know, she's like, let me be your last client. And I'm just gonna pull cards while I talk about this. She's like, let me be your last client so that we can chill, we can hang out. And I'm like, yeah, let's do it. So we chilled, we hang, you know, we hung out, we had something to eat, we got drinks. And when I went to read for her that night, because I told her I needed a break, I literally, sorry, I thought something dropped, but it didn't. Okay, we're good. So, guys, I literally went to read this person, and I pulled out cards, and I'm looking at it. I'm like, I was like someone who didn't know how to read. I'm like, I literally don't, I, I can't read this. So, <laughs> that's crazy. We can't overexert ourselves, you know? All right, guys, so sometimes it cuts me off, so I apologize for that. I was just shuffling. But the card that we had fall out was this one. Very interesting. I don't think I've ever pulled this. Okay, so let's see what this is about. For anyone into numerology, this is number 20. All right, so belief and faith. 
Faith must be enforced by reason. When faith becomes blind, it dies. The concept of this card is similar to those presented in the faith cards of the tarot deck that this person is talking about. Um, a selection of religious symbolisms represent a gamut of beliefs. The irony of this common denominator is tragic. With so much suffering inflicted in their name, religions have much to answer for. The blindfold can represent the blind faith such religions demand from their followers, but also the blindness also uh, the blindness the blindness often shown towards the beliefs of others. All this is set against the backdrop of Darwinian evolution shown in red below the various golden symbols. An ironic contradiction that represents the common denominator of humanity is shared by all religions and adds a question mark to them all. <laughs> this card is so fucking boss because like, I'm, I, I don't always talk about religion because my views are very radical and that I do not believe in religion i believe in a higher source but this is kind of going with that and i'm like i'm surprised you know i like it when people have my opinion but anyways this is you know is there anything that you blindly have just been putting so much faith into in your life you know because this is showing that this might be something that could actually be negative or that could hold you back and i'm not saying for some of you that's going to be religion i don't want to step on anyone's toes you know if you go to church and that's your thing and you know you're, you're very into that then good for you you have to do what makes you feel good um but has there been things that you've believed in so strongly without questioning the origin of it that it actually holds you back and it's like you're being held back and it's like why you know um someone asked me the other day she was like Lisette and I'm gonna bring this up just because of what the card spoke about and then we'll talk about this advice um you know what let's talk about this first and then I'll talk about my story I just want everything all together we'll do that I won't forget what I was gonna say but um we have the ace of cups in the reverse as your energy okay so this is a fallout of some sort something that's not gonna happen someone that you have to stop talking to or something that you have to stop talking to um, or a situation rather that you have to stop involving yourself with where there might be some sort of harsh ending some sort of betrayal here okay so it's like there's something that could be conflicting you and that within itself you know the conflict that you feel because of this it's blocking blessings from coming in all right so there may be a new start that wants to come in but certain things that you may have to fall out of let me pull some clarifiers here so we have the page of wands the king of swords in the reverse and we have the seven of cups okay for some of you, there's something that's being told to you or there's some sort of offer here that could lead you to some sort of new beginning that actually messes you up with the King of Swords in the reverse here, okay? It's something where there's a lot of illusions. So with it coming out as the Page of Wands, you know, the offer coming out as the Page of Wands, whether it's the way that the person says this or it's the way that you know they they describe whatever they're offering to you or whatever you're offering to someone else then this is going to be something that's spoken about in like a very passionate and loving and like very contagious you know sort of way so it's like there's something that it's like someone may be asking you to do or offering you to do or maybe you're asking them but you got to make sure that you're not going into this blindly okay that you're not just going to be like you know what yeah, that sounds good. I'll jump off this cliff without a parachute because you said I'll get to the bottom safely. You know, so it's just something here that may come in that might just not be for the best where you guys are going to have to be woke. All right. For some of you with the lover's card, it could be a person. It could be a close friend. Okay. It could be maybe in regards to a job that you've been in for a while. But I see this bringing anxiety. I see this bringing conflict, okay? I don't see it as a good idea. I don't see things going well. And maybe it's because there's a third party if it's within love or it's just something that would eventually lead to depression, okay? But um, yeah, it shows that whatever that is, it's gonna bring a lot of toxicity into your life until you fully close it out, okay? So what is it that you have blind faith in, okay? Um, is it, you know, wanting to reunite with a friend that you love so much that you lost touch with and now it's just like, no, but that was such a good friend. It's like, well, you have to realize that now you're probably different people. Maybe it was for the best that you lost this person. So 
really, I just see this as something that could be very desired or strongly wanted, but why? Okay, I see this blindfold as a why do you, you know, why do you want it so bad? Okay, what, what is it going to offer you? So, yeah, right now you guys just want to make sure that, especially if there's something like you're super excited about or just really, really desiring, you really have to ask yourself why you are desiring it okay and and question shit guys you know and honestly to go back to what i was going to say and it all ties into everything um that is the biggest problem with like me and like my family that i'm kind of like the black sheep because i have not even radical views on life i just question shit it's like okay this doesn't make sense to me so like my parents they're super 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 like over the top like my mom's at church right now with my son so you know she's just very very religious and i'll ask them a whole bunch of questions like well if god is you know for example when i talk about let's say gay people okay we know the church that or we know that you know the overall view of what church has on gay people and i'm just like you know mom don't you think it's kind of hypocritical that sometimes the the church will turn its back on a gay member because they're gay and I'm like, that that's not what God does. You know, he doesn't turn his back on people like that. God is not that petty. God does not have time. You know, this this has been in in you know history for all of time. You know, the same sex desire. So that'll be something that I talk about. And I'm just like, I know you say that is bad, but where the hell does that come from? You know, like where where's the basis of that? So um again, guys, just make sure that you're not just blindly following something just because someone told you to be a wolf don't be the sheep okay so that that's just my thing and that's why organized religion is just it's shit to me i'm sorry like I, I know i'm probably gonna lose a lot of you for that but i just i think that you're going to do more in this life if you can connect yourself to you to source okay because yeah there is this power that we're all under you know and i do believe that there is this um you know source of creation in the universe um but then you know some men just got bold and said let's write a book and let's tell people what to do and i'm just like i fucking hate being told what to do so that's not really what i can do um so yeah just don't be led into things blindly and uh what i was going to tell you guys and maybe this is a little off track but it's just what this reminded me of um someone had commented in one of uh the readings that i had just posted and she said to me lisette you know I feel so bad because I really, really want to get into studying astrology and tarot and all of that. Um, but, you know, religion and my parents and just the people around me just tell me that it's really, really awful and that it's really bad and it's very evil. Um, so what I had told her and I just like to, you know, I really, really just like to teach the world this because I feel like not enough people know it. Tarot, all this stuff, astrology, all this stuff. Well, let's start off. What is astrology? Astrology is a study of the motherfucking stars. So if someone is telling you that you are evil for studying something that fucking exists, that is above us, the constellations that we see, like, that is insane. That is some, like, medieval sort of thinking right there to me. And I had to explain to her, I'm like, astrology, that is how our ancestors knew when to harvest crops. That is when they knew natural disasters were coming. That is when they knew that the winter was coming or when it was finally going to be warmer. Like, that, it was literally something that they used to live. How in the hell is that evil? You know, and then when it comes to tarot and all this stuff, guys, the truth of everything, honestly, especially when it comes to Christianity and Catholicism, I know I'm so off topic right now and people tell me that I should keep my thoughts to myself, but I am who I am. But um, the origin to all of this, you know, back where the Christian crusade started, you were literally killed. If you were a child, a, a mother, a, a father, an old person, like if you did not believe in the spread of this religion, you were literally killed. Okay, so that is the base of the religion. Like, it's like, you believe it? No, slaughter. You believe in it? Uh, I guess so. All right, great, moving on. So that's really the basis of it. And then when it comes down to how the church and like all these religions will look at astrology as evil, it stems from money, okay? If you're trying to grow something big, if, if you know, you're trying to open a new burger spot and you see a McDonald's, on every corner okay and 
let's say it's cheaper, it's more direct, and it's taking profit, what are you going to do if you're a shitty person, okay? Or if you're not an honest person, you're going to put out lies to deter people from certain things. So the church did that with tarot. The church did that with, you know, all these uh, metaphysical sort of things because of money. They didn't want the money going towards profits or towards readers. They wanted it going towards the collection of church and that all it comes down to. And it's it's one of the oldest propagandas that this world has where it's just like this is all happening because we want the money. We don't want you to give them the money. And you know how hard of a fight that was? Okay. And again, I'm not talking shit about church, but if you have two options, one where you can come to a person and they're telling you exactly like, look, Timothy is a fucking asshole and he's cheating on you and he's been with this chick for the past three years. Or would you want to go somewhere where it's just like half faith, everything will work out and it will. You know, so it was a very hard battle for the church. So that's why I'm like, I love this card. I think it's really, really powerful. So have your beliefs, you know, but really know where they come from. Have your desires, have your wants, but know why you want it. Okay, so don't go just blindlessly following something just because you're told to. Again, be the wolf, not the sheep. So guys, the biggest thing for you is going to be just realizing what's realistic and what's feasible in your life. And taking that route okay and not um, putting yourself in a place where out of your actions you lose good things that can come in okay but it shows that you guys have an incredible future all right so let's focus on that let's focus on the good let's not focus on the things that we don't have control over and let's focus on the things that we can control sorry there's a bug that I've been trying to get for all these readings and I just got it as, as I was about to end this last one so here we are so all right Gemini that's my two cents. I'm sorry for like going off into a tangent that had nothing to do with the reading, but like that's just something that I love talking about and I just felt like talking. All right, guys. So again, um, Instagram, High Vibrations 44. And if you guys need a reading, um, highvibrationswithliz.com. But all of this is in the description below. So just read it, check it out. And if you need anything reading wise or business wise, um, just email me. I know a lot of people used to reach out to me through Instagram. I'm trying to completely separate um, anything, you know, work related that I have to like get out um, just so that I can be on social media mindlessly. All right. I love y'all. I'll see you guys in April.